Okay, well, this wasn't the vlog we had planned to make today. Uh, the van broke down. I was actually over heading over to get this box, and the the van broke down. I ended up walking about three miles with this box to get back. Oh. So, so we're gonna open it up. But luckily, it was only about two and a half miles because my friend came and saved me as I was walking home, picked me up and helped me try to get the van fixed on the side of the road. But it turns out it's a little more complicated than, than just a basic alternator battery. We've, we ruled out alternator battery and we checked the engine spark. We checked spark, we were getting spark, but it's electronic ignition, so I don't know if the spark is somehow timed incorrectly. That's getting a little more advanced. I don't think it is. And we think there's fuel because we could smell fuel. We tried starter fluid, no pop, nothing. So totally un, no, no response from cranking over the engine at all, even though I'm getting spark. So it leads me to think it's a fuel issue, but even with starter fluid, I don't get a pop. So I don't, I don't know could still be an ignition problem. So, to be continued. So what do we have in here, Miss Cools? Let's see, we have a cassette. Uh-huh, which one is speed, that? Shimano. And the range? Um, 11 to 32, I'm sorry, nope, 11 to 34. 11 to 34. And we have a couple of valves, or tubeless, tubeless valves. Okay. I think this is the last box of stuff we need to build up the new custom dirt touring bike. Mm -hmm. Nice. King tires. Miss Cools is going to be flying down the trails. Mm -hmm. She's going to be race kinging it. Okay. I think that's it. That's all that's in here. So we can set these up tubeless. We need the tubeless tape for your new wheels. I got a lot of response on the last video I made with the with the wheels, and did you read any of the comments? Oh, um, from the video that we just posted. Yeah. Um, people were talking about the their experience, yeah, with the um, crest rims, and and just rims in general, or wheels in general. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mentioned these were like heavy rims. But I didn't say, I did say these are really good. I really like these rims. I have them on my bike over here. But uh, what I didn't say was how well these rims trued up and how long, long lasting the true has been on um, the last wheel set I built with these. So they are really, really, really awesome rims. I, I, I hope I wasn't trying to make a negative point about them in the video. I was just pointing out the fact that these are heavier rims than most rims out there that's all yeah but they're very durable and they're extra wide they're 30 millimeters wide and they are designed to be tubeless so they have a nice shape to them they're not like a really deep profile i don't really like rims that have a really deep profile i like a more box section looking rim uh, and these ones are really really nice so anyway i hope i didn't say anything i love velocity rims no, I thought you were just pointing out that they were on the heavier side, but they're also the durable. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Well, I'll be excited to see how these work. Oops. Uh, these race kings, these are, what are they? 27.5 by 2.2. So they're a nice fat tire. And these are the Black Chili Compound Protection Technology Tubeless Ready. So the goal here is to get the tip, the tubeless tape on those rims and then do these up with the stands valves and do a tubeless setup without an air compressor, just with the floor pump. And we'll see how that goes. We have to get some sealant. Oh yeah. Let us know in the comments what sealant is the best. And then also, well, I was thinking I'm gonna probably, well, I'll save that for later. <laughs> 